right, guys. So I ain't no furnace guy. We all know this from the last episode. This one's supposed to be super simple, super easy. I got in the instructions and it, it has pictures for me to understand. So there's pictures. The last one didn't have pictures and made me do all the reading. There's enough pictures in here. I, th I think I don't need to throw it away. But if I have to start reading, well, we already know how that's gonna go. So we're gonna get this thing installed. It's gonna go right here. And I thought it came with a plug where I just plug it in, but I guess I was wrong. We're gonna have to wire it in, which is fine because I have some really good uh, electrical wire back here. And what I'll do is I'll just run it into that one outlet. There's two outlets here that are for the garage door openers. They're on their own circuit and that's the only thing that's on them. So it should be good to go. I shouldn't really need to run its own uh, thing or anything. I can just tap it into those and I think it'll be fine. So I'm gonna have to buy a junction box and run wire up over to that junction box and it should be okay since those are the only two things on that circuit, so. Make sure that you got help if you're wanting to install one of these. So far, installation is easy. It's just hard. It's easy, but hard. Well, with one person. Now, if you guys pay attention to the videos, you'll know that that's not up there the same way that it was when I just got done doing it. So what I had accidentally done was I put these brackets over here on this side. Actually, I forgot to tighten up a bolt. And what I did was, I installed it upside down, so I had to take it back down. I took it back down by myself. I called my wife and she come and helped me switch it around. That was a lot easier, but uh, yeah, so nonetheless, we got it up there. I never claimed to be a furnace guy, so I don't even know why you guys are watching this video. <laughs> Leave me a thumbs up if you think I'm doing okay so far. We got wiring to do and we're gonna do it all professional and stuff. Um, I may have to move that light. I don't know. Definitely gonna have to do something with the cord. Probably put the cord in this outlet or something. And um, see this outlet, that outlet, they're all switched. Like we talked about the other day, I'm gonna use the outlet for the garage door openers because they're not switched and they're on their own circuit. So I don't have to worry about messing with these lights or anything like that. So, whew. Without further ado, let's see if we can hook up the gas line. So I went and I got one of these flexible uh, gas lines for like a stove or a dryer. I had one around here, but I couldn't find it. Well, anyway, I went and I got one of these and what we got to do, we got to put this pipe dope stuff on here, pipe thread compound. So what we're gonna do is put some all across the threads here. It'll thread in and do its thing. Just don't get it in the fitting. But yeah, you don't need a lot. It'll kind of do its thing, what it's designed to do. And then we're gonna put this fitting on here. And we're, um, you don't really need to put the compound on the flared uh, connection, but I do as an extra added measure. It doesn't hurt. So you're gonna wanna get the properly sized wrench. Oh, that one's not the proper size, so let's adjust it. Now I got the proper size wrench, and you're just wanna, gonna wanna tighten that up. Not horrible tight, but definitely tight. There we go. Now we can put our hose on and go ahead and give it a nice snug too. It's nice and tight, and then once that dries, 
and we have it all hooked up, we gotta do a soap test. I'll show you guys how to do that. So now we're gonna hook up the thermostat wire. I just ran it across my rafters. I'm gonna staple it down later after I get it situated. Um, I'm gonna show you how to, you're gonna have two wires, a red and a white wire, and I'm gonna show you how to hook those up. So it may be, it may be hard for you to see, but like on the back of this one, there's four terminals, one with C, one with W, one with G, and one with R. We want the W for white and the R for red is what we want. So we take our wire and then all we need to do is just bend these around, put the white where the W is, tighten it down, and it's good to go. Do the same thing for the red. There we go. And we'll, later on we'll staple our wire so I have decided to put my thermostat right here, close to the door here. Um, I was gonna put it on the other side of the garage, but I wasn't thinking and I told them 20 feet and guess what? 20 feet is about eight feet too short. It doesn't like to strip uh, solid copper wire, but hey, it works. Now I'm gonna put these wires through here. Okay. Oh. We need to strip more of the brown off. On this here thermostat, the red wire goes in on the left side. The white wire goes in on the right side. Far as I know, I'm doing this right. <laughs> but it's gonna go, the red wire is gonna go on this one where the red wire comes down in. We're just going to bend it around that screw. There we go. Now, leave ourselves enough slack. We got plenty of slack. We're just going to put it right there. The reason I'm putting it over here is for quick access instead of walking back. So if I want to leave and turn it off, I can just walk over here and turn it off instead of walking all the way back there, turning it off. There we go. And we want to make sure it's in the off position. So all the way down is basically off. <laughs> Camera, action. That sucker is quiet though. Wow, is that quiet. Let's wait for it to actually kick on. Maybe we rednecks don't know what we're doing. Oh, oh! Damn, is that quiet. Well, this floor is not on yet, but it will. Oh, oh, instant heat. Instant heat. <laughs> Man, whew, it'll definitely beat the noise of that turbo heater. My fans won't go, well, you got that noisy thing going in the background all the time. Well, we didn't go to school to be furnace, guys. We got heat, check for leaks, there's no leaks. It turns on, it puts out heat. We uh, successfully cut a big giant gaping hole in my garage, something I have been not wanting to do for a long time. That's why I haven't done this, because I didn't want to cut holes. But, uh... Well, you did. You wanted to put a window in. I did want... Well, there's two windows there. We just got to cut the siding out, and I... I don't know why they didn't finish it. Maybe they figured, well... They constructed it here where we live, and... I mean, don't trust nobody with windows around here, so... Well, they did have half insulated, didn't they? Yeah. So maybe, maybe they did, I don't know. I did hear the guy got sick, but I don't know when he worked on this. So, I say, hey, fine job, ladies and gentlemen. Fine job Ronnie did on wiring. I did on about killing myself, hanging that thing. <laughs> Dude, hey, sweet, sweet heat for the winter time. Now I can really get the tune in them CF Moto clutch kits. Yeah. 
Don't forget, CF Moto Clutch Kits, RNG Performance is your guy. The best prices around. All right, guys. Peace out. God bless. We'll see you in the next one. What do you think, Ryan? See him in the next one? See you next one. Maybe not. I'll be in here. I'll warm you. <laughs>